Hello, everybody. Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time joining us. I am so excited about today uh, because we are finally doing Sanctuary Hills. So let's get started. Sanctuary Hills is, of course, the very first settlement that you get in game. It is where you lived pre-war and it's where you go back to right after escaping from Vault 111. We have some people in here already. And to be honest, I kind of just set up some sleeping bags for them so they wouldn't get upset while we did our other settlement builds. But I think it's time that we come back and give them a better place to live. So like I said, I've already gotten started here a little bit. They have the recruitment beacon up and running. Um, and then in this house, don't judge me, I just slapped down a bunch of sleeping bags for them. So this is kind of how they've been living. Uh, but we, of course, are going to fix that. Let's just jump in and get started, as always, by scrapping everything we can. Sanctuary Hills is such an interesting settlement. I think it's one of the settlements we get the most lore in, um, but also I feel like there's some lore missing because I think a lot of the destroyed houses were destroyed like after the initial war uh, because one of the houses has like barricades in it. I think we're kind of led to believe that people set up here after the war and that may have been when a lot of destruction occurred, uh, which is different than a lot of the other settlements that we find. Can we get rid of this? Yes. Oh, and scrapping here is so satisfying because it cleans it up so beautifully well. these rubber tires. I saw a comment on an uh, earlier video that the rubber tires are actually really useful for bumping like uh, dead rad roaches out of the way and stuff. So maybe I should <laughs> try and hang on to one. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. Some of these houses are in like a good enough state that we'll be able to just leave most of it as is, which I don't love. We'll scrap the television because we're not going to need a television, uh, which I don't love because it seems kind of like in disrepair. Um, but since we're not using mods, there's not a ton we can do about it. So I think my goal here is just going to be to put as much like personality and functionality into each house as we can, uh, but leave the structure the way it is. Get rid of the TV dinner tray. This table can stay. I hate the chairs that look broken. So we'll get rid of those, of course. The stool isn't really doing anything. What can I do here? A sink can go. I wish these cabinets were like fixable because they're so cute. Like so retro. Ah, just so beautifully. What's the term? Uh, I think Reagan Gothic. It's beautiful. All right, so we, we'll be able to redo that as a kitchen. And what's this? Oh, canned dog food, let's take it. Can't grab anything else. Nope, I wanna take the extinguisher. I'll get rid of the picture frame. See this, like I can't get rid of this and that's, uh, that might drive me a little nuts. With the table, if you move stuff that you want to keep, it'll at least like clear it off. Can I not get rid of this? Because that's awful. Okay. Again, we'll see what we can do. Oh, if I scrap this, will that clean that up? No. All right, we'll live with that. Maybe we'll put a bed on top of it. Bathtub, do we want to keep the bathtub? Because technically this is in good shape but they they like can't use it okay so we'll scrap that we'll scrap that maybe we'll aim to use the bathrooms in these houses and just like put better toilets in them instead of doing the outhouse like we usually do okay that definitely gives us enough to get started on with this one that like why would there be a toilet sitting outside this house like the bombs didn't do that you know what I mean maple branches I've seen some people do like really incredible entrances with like um mechanical is mechanical the word I want like big mechanical doors that like open when you come into sanctuary and those are so beautiful uh, but our goal for today is to keep things cozy keep things realistic um and also i don't know how to do that so <laughs> realistic for me 
I'm gonna scrap that, we'll scrap that. I mean, if I were living here, like if I were a settler, you know, refugee after a nuclear fallout, I wouldn't know how to build a door like that, honestly. Okay, so will this scrap the entirety of the house? Yes. Yes. I think let's focus on these two houses first. Scrap the car, scrap the tire, scrap the branches. And then this whole thing is totally ruined. And I don't believe it's ruined from the um, initial bomb drop because then the outside would be destroyed, not the inside like this. So I think that there was a lot that happened in Sanctuary Hills, you know, in the past 200 years. But I think if we scrap this, we'll just get like a clean slate. Yes, that's beautiful. Because I think the entrance to the settlement here, this would be a really good setup for like guard barracks. And then maybe on the other side, that could be like the head guard's house. And we'll put some desks in there and make that like a good organizational space. Um, because we want the entrance to the settlement to be really fortified. Uh, can I scrap anything else over here? Yes, I can. Do you think trees would start to grow back at this point 200 years later? I mean, obviously there's some like animal diversity. I feel like some trees would be sprouting or something okay so let's start with the guard posts because i think those would be our entrance set up like that and that and then we can do some turrets too just on these naturally occurring things right yeah pop one up there pop one up there so not like a high, a too technologically advanced entrance, but still enough that you know this is a settlement where people live and are defending. And hopefully we get some guards for that. Okay, but here would be where our guard barracks are. And I think wood still works for that. I'm going to go ahead and do like some foundation over it just so everything clips together easily, but it won't be perfect on this base, which I know is always a little frustrating, but I think it'll be okay. How big can we, or do we wanna realistically make this is the question. Cause we should have like beds for the guards, workstations for the guards if we can get them and then maybe um what i like to do sometimes with like turrets and extra stuff on top so maybe let's see if there's a nice way to do a second floor yeah it's gonna bother me that all the floors are pointing in a different direction so we might have to redo these That'll be okay. It should snap together no matter what. I don't want like the messier ones because I feel like this would be a new build construction, you know, like the people who are settling here would, would build this new. Obviously, it's not being salvaged and we had so much wood to work with. I need shack upper floor. And then I want the plank still to go this way. This is gonna be so boxy. That might get really boring. I guess we'll see. I might hate that. I do try and push myself in these builds. Will that snap on? It'd be cool if it did. Yeah, because then we can have this like back kind of storage area. I do try and push myself uh, to break habits with these and doing something boxy <laughs> like this is not something I've done before. So it'll at least be a new challenge for me. Okay. 
I don't hate that. It doesn't feel like huge. Mm, maybe like that. That. And then this space, this is kind of like a natural patio. So maybe another door here. Where's the doorway? Again, I wish we had more than one doorway. So much. If I could get one thing, it would be it would be more doorways. And then maybe some of these. one back here and then you know there's nothing really going on these back walls for decoration so I'm fine using them for texture really I just don't like those walls when they um, prevent us from putting like hanging things on the wall but nothing's gonna be hanging back here because I think this would be more of a storage area and then here we have this little patio okay yeah. Okay, so maybe I'm thinking like beds on this side. And then they would probably have some sort of kitchen set up here. And then we'll do some more turrets and maybe like a little fence out here, storage back here. And then I'm still not sure what we're doing up here. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't make sense. Uh, let's finish putting this together and then see what's possible. Like maybe this is um, like kind of halfway. If I can fit a roof on the other side of this, I think this is how I would do it. With the snap even with that. Um... No, it won't. Oh, that's annoying. Is there anyone that would? <gasps> yes! <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Okay, that might totally save us. First, I wanna check that these can't exist together. Yeah, no. Um, but that, actually, that roof is kind of high enough that it might, hold on. You go there. No. Yeah, that actually doesn't feel too bad because it's gonna end up being about the same height as the balcony railing. You know what I mean? Like that and that. That, like that. Is this gonna look too samey samey? I mean, there's enough natural texture in it that I'm not like worried. And I'll spice it up with some of those. Maybe we replace this one like that, just to give it a bit more variety. No, I think I <laughs> hate that one, but we'll do that and that'll shake up the texture some. All right, that's good. And then we can do what we usually do with like higher turrets. You know, like maybe this is like there, because again, this is the entrance to the settlement. So we want this to be the most guarded point. Is that on the ground or is that floating? I can't tell. Let's just say it's on the ground. And let's pop some turrets up there. Maybe some more turrets kind of installed on top of this. This would be where most of our defense is happening. But then also, you know, they can hang out. Let's do like, not this bench, but I like using that bench to figure out which way this one is facing. That. 
Like, I don't think they're coming up here to, like, get information or anything. Uh, but just to monitor what's going on. Mm, that might be in the way of these stairs. Might undo that. Little outdoor table. Actually, I would want that to be a more we weatherproof shelf. Ooh. No. Where's that metal round one? This one. Because it is going to get dark up here. So I can definitely give them an oil lamp. I'm realizing that this is using up the junk I've picked up to decorate. And I don't love that. Uh, but I've got a full steamer trunk full of, of junk to pull from too in Sanctuary. So I won't worry about it. And let's give them a container for stuff up here. Metal box. Yeah, I think metal box is like the most weatherproof looking one we've got. Which I would assume is full of like spare parts for the turrets. Okay, so some guards can congregate up here. I'm sure this would be one of the rotational, you know, spots they can be assigned. Actually, if I'm saying that, maybe I should make them assignable up here with a um, one of these, you know? Let me see if I can make some room for that. Maybe we get rid of this. Hmm. Would it make sense to have it right here? Maybe it would. If we like move this. And then we put this here. I gotta move back so we can see it. And kind of scooch it right up into that blank space. Yeah. Okay, so now there's like a little bit of seating for guards. They can maintain that. They can maintain those. Um, but this can also be an assignable spot for them to keep an eye on the settlement from over here. Okay, so that's our barracks roof. And I actually feel really good about that. Back here we said storage, so let's go ahead and drop in. I'm thinking some like, which is the front? There we go. Filing cabinets, more of these metal boxes. Again, which way is the front? That I think we can stack. Nope, never mind. I know these can stack. Oh, let's do these instead. They're so much nicer. At least for inside. I lied, those cannot stack. What am I thinking of? Oh, the wooden crate? Mm. Yeah, why not? Tool chest would be good back here. I'm just thinking like, they would probably have extras of some of this stuff. Like when people aren't assigned to it because I think everybody's going to get a foot locker but then of course they would have extra foot lockers yeah so the beds can go here and I'm thinking we'll do this like true barrack style you know like kind of one after another And then exactly what I just said, we'll give them each a foot locker. Foot locker for you. Foot locker for you. Foot locker for you. And let's do, because we have this lovely wall breaking up the space, let's go ahead and put a Minuteman flag on that. Since this is a Minuteman barrack. Let's do one on either side, which I don't usually do, but this is kind of our headquarters. Like us personally, because the general, we're the general and the general lives here. 
And then what did I say? I think a kitchen would be good. I'm picturing this kind of like a, um, like a firehouse, you know, like they have to be <laughs> stationed here, but they have some homey things in it. No, I hate that for indoor. This is so much nicer. Mm. Yep. And it's raining outside. Yuck. Actually, I'm gonna move this against this wall instead. So we have room for some seating. I didn't think about a bathroom in here, did I? That's okay. Maybe guards don't have to use the bathroom ever. Okay, now we gotta figure out seating, which I think would be good here. Ooh, that looks very official. So does that one, but this one feels bigger. And maybe this at the end so they can kind of serve themselves food. Actually, maybe that or this counter would be better instead of my usual cabinet because this feels a little more like military. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's see what chairs go with that. Not that, that's too tall. Ooh. But these little kind of benches, I don't know, those feel really like nice and industrial to me and I kind of love that for this. And again, I'm just using that chair to sort of position where these go. Yeah, that feels very much like a I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. But you know what I mean. I hope. Let's get a nice door for them. That feels too homey. Oh, this door. This door. Yeah. And let's give them a fire barrel while I'm out here. And they're going to work already. Who knows what that was? Okay, so we got their beds. I feel like not a welcome mat, but maybe a piece of rubber flooring. Or two. Or three. Would be a good, like, entryway runner in here. And then I want something here that seems fun for them. I guess we have a lot of options. An Edatronic. Does an Edatronic go in here? That's kind of fun. Because this does kind of feel like a cafeteria. Cafeteria. That's the word I was looking for earlier. It's like a little industrial. Yeah, I like that. Like they can reheat some stuff if they need to, but it's mostly grab and go because they need to be ready to go at any moment. Let's get a door. Let's use the same door. Let's go ahead and do something out here. Is this one too big? How close can I get this? Hold on. Nah, I don't think that's gonna work. I think this is our 
better option. Like that. Like that. I hear an animal. Oh! Hello. Wow, our size meter is so full already, which I know, like, it starts full, because Sanctuary has a ton of stuff in it, but... Okay. There, so they have that little kind of porch. Do they need steps here? I wasn't thinking so, but I just tried to step on it, and it was not possible. Yeah, so let's give them a little... How close can I get this? Like that close? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. So they have this entrance in and some benches. Hello. And then the little kitchen setup. Yeah. That's great. Is there anything else decoratively? Oh, yeah. Probably some, um, like, weapons storage for them. Just like little ones to break up or maybe above each bed yeah and then we'll leave it to them to put their own weapons there i just want to line this up with the others yeah that feels really nice cool okay so guards awesome defense super high now this would be a home for the head of the guards or honestly maybe like whatever guard isn't um, assigned to active duty. So I'm walking through to get a sense. We need a bedroom. That looks awful. So I'd like to cover that with something which might be a bed. Which way is the head of the bed? Like that? I mean, it's definitely less awful with the bed in it, I think. What is this? Jangles the Moon Monkey. I didn't realize Jangles was a character on a show. I hate those Jangles doll things. No, I'm thinking of the one that claps. That's not Jangles, is it? Okay, this isn't ideal, but it's also not the worst thing in the world for that just to be the bedroom. And then maybe we put like some storage here. Because again, without mods, like we can't get things perfectly clean. And I think that's okay. And then not furniture, but decorations, miscellaneous will give us those nice candles. Hmm. That won't really do anything for us. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much we can do about that junk. The walls already feel kind of decorated and like interesting. So maybe we just leave this as the bedroom and then this could be a nice office space or another bedroom and we could just replicate the same on this side for another guard mm, let me come out here yeah because we could put desks out here that would be okay yeah let's do same thing we did. Bed. Can I scooch that in more? Not really. Okay. And then whatever this is, we'll just kind of cover up with, let's do a longer one in here. Or maybe, is there room for a desk in here? Maybe this guy has a desk in his room because he has the bigger room. Does that have rolly feet? 
Yeah, I don't like that as much as the wooden rolly one though. This one's my favorite. And let's give him some candles too. If I can grab them. Yeah, there we go. I just love the way the wax kind of melts. Dang, and this is using up all my good junk. That's okay. I've got plenty. And then I feel like there's actually room for where a small painting ooh, or something like right here. Like a small, what's the smallest one we've got? These are all huge and I feel like they only get bigger. Yeah, let's go back. Maybe a cat one. No, that one's kind of small. That one's small. I think that original one is the smallest one. And it's kind of a nice rolling fields of grain vibe. Okay, so that's second bedroom. This is first bedroom, which maybe is more of a guest room because <laughs> I don't see how anybody could personalize that space. This is annoying, but I'm not sure there's anything we can do about it. Let's check the um, the wall options that we have, because maybe one of the half walls would kind of cover this nicely, but I don't have high hopes. I should have had my hopes higher. That's lovely. I'm just trying to like pull it in as close as I can to that. Yeah, yeah, that just feels like a much cleaner. Oh, never mind. I shouldn't have pulled it so far that way. Cleaner end cap because it's at least standing up. Hello. Oh, we're going to build a whole house for Mar Mama Murphy. I know it. Or at least like put her in one of these houses. Okay, so bed, bed. And then I think we'll store this for now. I hope that storing the rug gets rid of some of that grime. Nope, it didn't. That's okay. We will put a desk here, because again, I think that this would be like more of a guard house. What did I need? A desk. We can do the big desk, because we have a lot of room in here. It keeps snapping up to the ceiling. I would love if it didn't do that. Why is it doing that? Uh-oh. Oh, I can do it this way, okay. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Just fine. And we'll do the same chair here, but I'll pull it a little bit out so they can actually kind of sit on it in the meantime. And then some kind of light on the desk. Yeah, we can do the candles again. That's fine. And then, okay. We got rid of the seating area, so maybe we want to redo that a little bit. There's already a, a welcome mat here, which I think we can keep. That's nice. Yeah, so, because we got rid of the big couch. Let's scooch this end table in the corner. And we'll do two of these chairs, so let's find the matching chair and put it over here. And then we'll just center the end table a little bit because I don't want to cut into the space that's now kind of the office space. Back to candles. Let's turn it so it feels fuller. There we go. And I want a rug. Like the circle rug that goes so lovely with these chairs. Yeah, there we go. So this could even be nice, like if mayors from other settlements come to visit, like maybe they sit and have a nice little chat about the state of the Commonwealth Provisional Government. Yeah, that's cute. And then I think we can keep this as a kitchen. Can I do anything about this? No, that's fine. We're just working around it. Sometimes limitations are great inspiration for things. I tell myself that a lot with my own games, 
because I'm just one person. So sometimes being limited by my own abilities is a nice like challenge to try to follow. And so that's how I'm gonna view this too. Like that. And then maybe our favorite uh, stove can go over here. And that gives us room for one more smaller container over here. With the cooler. Yeah, it's not like perfect. But there's storage and cooking stuff, so we'll take it. And then let's keep the kitchen table, but we'll just kind of clean it up a bit. Do we want more chairs, like a chair on either side? Maybe at least like two in the back, like that. We can do. Oop, I'm out of oil. Do I not have um, God mode on? I didn't, and that's why it was consuming all my junk, wasn't it? Lesson learned. Oop, Sturges, hi. Um, so I don't use any mods for these builds, but I do use God mode just so I don't have to keep running and like collecting more resources. Uh, but of course, if I was doing this as a real fall playthrough, then I would, uh, which is kind of fun sometimes to wait for the junk vendors to have exactly the junk that you want to build with in stock. I just don't want to make you guys wait for that. Maybe this goes in here to cover up the floor a bit. Sturges is having a great time, so that's good. Uh, and then maybe like a plant to kind of cover up this broken bookshelf. Or this one. Yeah, because that one's like totally broken. We can't put anything on it. But this one actually seems stable enough that we might be able to put some stuff on it. So let's see if I have any junk that hasn't been consumed. That would be like a good decoration. Oh, I do have coffee stuff. Do I have like a um, picture frame? Would be nice. Maybe not. I can definitely go grab something though. Because this is sanctuary, so we got everything. Move this over. That's coffee pot, coffee tin. Or should this go in here? Maybe the coffee tin is in the kitchen. But the cups and the kettle are out and full of coffee for our guards working late nights. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, the tin's there. I definitely want something on these shelves. I just don't know what. So we might have to keep our eye out for good junk. Okay, so this as a revitalized guard workshop, guard, not workshop, guard house, feels good. It's not perfect, but it is structurally sound. And then maybe this, um, like garage, I guess is what it used to be, would be nice uh, for the Minutemen guards to have uh, armor repair or weapons repair. Which one of these do I like? This one seems more appropriate for just like sitting outside. But that way we can give them a way to repair their weapons. Armor and weapons. Yeah. And then maybe like a chair or something out here. Or a bench. Oop, not a shelf. I don't know why I'm really favoring the one without a back. And I'm like asking myself, is it because I feel like these people don't deserve to lean back? But no, that's, they can lean against the house. Hi, Mama Murphy. 
Okay. And let's do, let's see if there's like a sign. Tools would be appropriate here. And anything to like label this house? I don't think so. Ooh, I mean, it is technically police related. And they don't really know what police is. There haven't been police for like 200 years. So maybe that signifies it as the guard house. These letters, okay, you know I've been wanting to use these letters forever. These letters might be really nice, like in sanctuary because we have all these houses. Like this is the first house. So maybe this is house zero one. Ooh, they don't snap together though. That might kill me. Um, but then maybe, like, who lives in this house? Who's the captain of the guards? I did um, look up the names of the people in Sanctuary who were here before the bombs dropped. So my thinking, I'll tell you this while I make this, and I think it's gonna be Smith. Um, is that a lot of people resettling after the war wouldn't have last names, you know? Like, I don't think they know where their family is. So maybe we name the houses after the people who used to be here. And then they adopt the, the names of the pre-war families who died. Although if it's always going to be this kind of like, whoop, I might stop doing that because that's not even at all, but that's okay. And then should they have a house number? It would just be zero two. Zero. Not ingredients, not components, not chems. This will just be the ammo house. Also because it was way harder than I thought it would be to spell things out. Okay, great. So that's the guards and that's um, like the guard house slash head guard house. And it is very dark out, which I don't love. So we might have to sleep, sleep it off. We'll scrap that. Let's go ahead and scrap all these things. Another ruined house. Let's scrap it. That's so satisfying to do. And that is scrapping all this will give us a better sense of what buildings we have access to. Okay. Because this one we haven't touched yet. Oh, Preston's in there. We got Preston back. Preston was missing uh, in our last... I'm just going to start actually scrapping these things. We will have the option to rebuild with picket fences, but I don't need to leave these or save them. Uh, Preston was missing in our last build because he was waiting for me to help defend the castle, uh, which we have done. We have the castle now. Ooh. We have a chemistry station back here. I forgot there was a drug dealer in Sanctuary Hills. Uh, but again, this was definitely post-war. There's no way this bag of fertilizer is just sitting there undisturbed. Like somebody definitely moved here post-war to start uh, dealing drugs. But I know there was a pre-war drug dealer too because of the um, terminal that's in this house. This house I don't really have an idea for yet. So maybe we... Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and just clean it up and make it a more uh, traditional house. And then maybe we can put the longs in it. Uh, I forget what their names are. Ken, Marcy. You know who I'm talking about, the like settlers that we save uh, in the very beginning. Okay, so we can't change this. So this will still be the bathroom. I'm gonna turn on my, oh, oh, that's not what I meant to do either. Turn on my Pip-Boy lights. So we can decorate better here. 
I think in miscellaneous furniture we'll have a working toilet. That's so ugly though. Like it looks awful. The other option is the vault tech one, which looks so sterile, but I think that's better. Mm, I can't tell. I can't tell which I would like better. The other one is, is much more immersive and that's nice. Is this, this is the door into the bathroom. So why is this just like left open? Can we seal this off with a wall? Where's that smooth one? Oh. Oh. Oh, that fits, that fits, that fits. That's wonderful. Okay, there. So the bathroom's much better with that on it. Thank goodness. We'll save the patio chair. We'll save the filing cabinet. Uh, we don't need this or this or this or this. Definitely not that because it's very broken. We'll save the chair. We'll get rid of the files, but we'll save the filing cabinet. We'll scrap that. This still works as a bedroom. Ooh, can I get rid of that? No. Um, so let's do the thing where we like make a makeshift queen bed by pushing two other beds together. And I think this one will work. Will work nice. Like that and that. Yeah, because the Longs are a married couple, so I'd like for them to be able to sleep together. Because I, I don't think they've shared a bed in a long time. I don't think they've had the chance to. Okay, we'll give them a dresser. And then maybe like a nice calming painting for them over here. Because they've had a very, very stressful time. Miscellaneous. No, buoys don't really work for them. But maybe a wall candle would. Ooh, and a plant, of course. Mm, I wouldn't want it to drip wax on their head while they sleep. But right there, that's really nice. Bed, bed. And then another candle on top of the dresser. And then y'all know uh, the classical radio, those wavelengths are what the Institute uses. So I don't typically use classical radio, um, but I think that classical radio as background noise might actually be really soothing for the lungs just because they clearly both have PTSD. Uh, so giving them something like not white noise, but some sort of background noise to tune into, I think would be helpful for them in, in their recovery. Some kind of like music therapy, you know what I'm talking about? And then a rug to cozy up the place. Oh, we have enough room for a full rug. This one with the circles. Yeah. Let's turn it the other way to sort of guide the eye back to the beds. Okay, that's really nice. That's cozy. Maybe a little chair here. can do that, uh, the red chair from the other room. And then I know somewhere there's a little foot ottoman. Not that one, that's too clean. This one, that matches it and can go over here. There, okay, so they have like a cozy sitting area, some music, beds together. That's really lovely. That's going to really help them, help them out. And then this, I don't even know what's going on in here. So let's scrap. We can save the table. 
And the lamp, not the chair. Ooh, drugs. We'll save that dresser. Yeah, we might want that. The longs, I mean, they don't have a kid, which we know. Could something go um, kind of at the end of this hallway? I think a mounted creature might be nice, but again, for the longs, they've spent so much time being so stressed uh, that I feel like that's not the answer for them. So let's go with a wall candle and then a small uh, table or like the small dresser. Or no, I know there's like a credenza e type tables back here in miscellaneous. I was wrong, it's not in miscellaneous, is it? It's just a rare table. Like this. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so the longs, oh my god, 16,000? I mean, I know that follow, like, has followed patterns of inflation and that it does that consistently across the game. This is fun. Oh, I forgot how much like world building and lore there is in, in Sanctuary Hills. The ultimate in equestrian robotics. He neighs, he trots, he'll love you lots. Okay, that's cute. That'll stay there. But what is this room? I don't think it needs to be another bedroom. But maybe a home office? do this oh if I can move this off my face like a high cabinet I just I want the longs to be comfortable and to be able to kind of recover so maybe the um yeah the the rolly chair with more padding would be nice and then maybe a plant all this stuff is metal so I do want kind of a leafier plant to balance it out yeah like that's nice and maybe a couch on this side so while one works the other can come in here and hang out I know they miss their son and they blame themselves a lot for the loss of their son but it's not their fault that's just fallout baby I don't know why I said baby that was inappropriate that's nice. So little sitting area, office space. Do they need a light in here? They don't really have a light source. So let me grab something. This cabinet is going to make this difficult, isn't it? Oh, that's okay. We figured that out. Okay. And then this is the bathroom. This is just like a storage room. And that, we'll get rid of the sink and the dryer, since we don't need a dryer. But we will put in some uh, more containers that they can use for storage, which I think is important. You know, I don't know what they've been collecting or working on, but they haven't had a place to call their own in so long. But I think it's important For them to be able to feel safe putting stuff down, you know? And then let's do some shelves like these. Is there a smaller one of these? Okay, let me move stuff around. Now if I move the suitcase, can this go over there? Yes. And now can the suitcase go on top? 
beautiful. Okay, so they have some storage. They can collect some stuff. They've been on the run for too long. Okay, and then same deal here. I don't need a kitchen skill. Uh, as we usually do with like kitchens, we'll leave them on the table. But a kitchen setup would be lovely. Again, just giving them a sense of normalcy. Stereo's broken. Picture frame broken. Interesting that they have like two table setups, but I don't think we need the second one. Keep it simple for them. And what can we do with this? I do think we want to keep the sitting area. They can't use the TV, so we'll get rid of the TV. But I, I like the way this, uh, yeah, I like the way this feels. Because they, they do have friends now in Mama Murphy and Preston that maybe they would like to host some people when they get more settled, you know? Maybe a plant becomes the, the visual focus. I love plants. Candles. Yeah, so that's a cozy settle, uh, a cozy sitting area for them. This needs some art on the wall. Usually, I would do a Minuteman thing, but I think the longs just need. Oh, that texture is going to cut anything off that I put there, isn't it? That's nice. That's okay. I wish I could move this more to the right, but that's going to happen. I guess that's okay. Okay, this is feeling cozy for them. So what house number is this? That was one, that was two. That isn't facing this way, right? So this would be three. So this is house number three, and this is the longs. I guess people in Fallout do have last names, but I'm thinking of, oh my gosh, who's the companion that you get who's fighting? Oh my God, I hear her voice in my head. The Irish one with the chem addiction. I feel like she would not have a family name. Okay, so that's house three for the longs. Which, when we find them walking around, I'll grab them and assign them to those beds so they know where to go. Okay. And now, what's going on with this house? I don't know anything about this house. But I feel like Mama Murphy maybe would want to be next to them because she's the only person they know. Let's get rid of all this fencing. Ooh, there is a doghouse here. I do want a dog. So let's bring this more forward. Because maybe um, maybe the longs get a dog, like kind of a therapy dog, protection dog. So maybe whatever dog we get goes here. Where is that from? Like... I will use the picket fences to do the farm 
later. I love long lawn flamingos. I love them. I'll save these. Oh, I do like the idea of a grill. We don't need an unfilled kickball though. Shovel will save for the farm. What's this whole little area? Do I need this? Do I need to pay attention to this? Uh, I feel like it's close enough to the edge of the settlement that this this can just kind of be a backyard and that's it. And I want to scrap all these things so we get more room in the size limit. Can I get this one? It doesn't. Oh, no, it is. There we go. Companion I'm thinking of is her name Kate. I know somebody will tell me in the comments if I don't guess it. Okay, so I'm thinking this house is Mama Murphy's house to be next door neighbor to the Longs. So what was this? This was 03 was the Longs, and we'll do 04 is Murphy. Not that this one. Is this gonna get tedious and I regret doing this? Probably. Oh, four, nope, why did I do that? There we go. Let's do it like there. Mur. How do you spell Murphy? Is it P-H? Is it an EY? Oh, this could be really embarrassing. We might have to go find her. I think it's just a Y. I should have spell checked that before I tried to spell on a stream with you guys, but <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so Mama Murphy. I mean, that toilet works. Get rid of that. And we'll get her a better sink. Let's go ahead and replace the sink right now. No, that's not um, decorations. That's miscellaneous furniture. What is this projector? Does that actually do anything for us? Okay, there's a working sink. I'm going to feel guilty if I leave her with a terrible toilet when the longs got a nicer one. Working toilet, working sink. This room is small. I don't know what to use that for. But this will be Mama Murphy's bedroom. Let's grab her bed. Let's give her the big, this one, because it's, ooh, let's actually, let's put down a rug first. bed kind of right in the middle of that and we'll go ahead and grab miscellaneous to put the candle on the wall for her that's exactly what I'm thinking and then I think she would like some art above the bed it feels too big 
next one of the flowers. Yeah, just like flowers. And then let's do more candles on top of the dresser. And then if we attract a cat, I don't hate the idea of her having the cat in her home, you know? So I'm just gonna put that down for now. We don't need the broken chair or that or this. What do we have in this fridge? Deviled eggs, Nuka cherry, okay. That looks broken. These things don't look broken though, so I'm almost tempted to just kind of leave these two. Because um, again, I don't think Mama Murphy, oh, we'll get rid of that, is much of a cook. I might just be kind of assuming that about her. We'll give her a table for sure. And we'll give her a cat bowl so she can become a crazy cat lady. I really love that for her. Like that. And then we'll do another painting up here. Yeah. There's a table or something I can scooch where the fridge used to be to make this look more intentional. I think that would be really nice. Yeah. That is nice. And then what is this? Ottoman will fix. I know Mama Murphy usually has a chair, um, but I think I actually might have missed the opportunity for that when I skipped a bunch of quests. So let's pretend she doesn't. Oh, take that. And then I actually don't know where the table should go. Let's scrap it and do an end table here. I feel like a rug, a rug would go, excuse me, a rug would go good here, like that. More candles. I want it to be cozy for her. There's like a big empty space here that I don't know what we can do about. Let's grab the counter. Is that not under, oh no, that's miscellaneous furniture, isn't it? I always get confused between the two. But like this, to kind of break up the sitting area. Oops, and let's switch the chair and the ottoman. Yeah, that'll kind of break up her kitchen slash dining area from the sitting area. And then what can we put on top of this? Let's do another painting. And I don't usually use this many paintings, but I feel like for Mama Murphy. Hi! You come with me. We gotta grab him while we, <laughs> while we got him. Put a, assign him to the bed in his new house. Hey, bud. Mama Murphy deserves her own house. Hmm. Do I have like food she might like? I'm not giving her any um, chems. Hmm. Maybe a dinner plate. Dinner plate, hairbrush, 
coffee tin, coffee cup. Oop. If we put a coffee tin over here, plate over here, coffee cup over here, and then hairbrush. I don't know, it just feels like she deserves something beauty related. That didn't help me decorate the counter at all, but that's okay. Let's grab, not wall decorations. Let's grab a plant and then I think we'll call Mama Murphy's done. Yeah, she's not gonna water it. Hi, this is Mama Murphy's house. Do you understand? That's okay. Okay, so we've got the Longs and the Murphy house. Let's scrap some more trees. Can I not scrap these? Oh, this is how we get to the vault, isn't it? So maybe this would be a good place for more um, guard posts. Just because it could theoretically be another place that people enter the settlement. Because that's where we entered from. So we know it's possible. Like that. Yeah. Cool. Okay, this is still an empty slate for now. I want Sanctuary to be like bustling shopping opportunities. So I do want to do uh, like clothing and general trader on well, these things. Now we can store because we did enough defense over by the uh, entrance of the settlement. So at some point I will want to do uh, like shopping stuff. just checking out this house because it could just be like another house you know there's so many opportunities for housing in sanctuary let's go ahead and do a shopping thing here because we we don't have one yet and i feel like the general traders in sanctuary hills should be pretty big so maybe this is a big old general store and we'll do the same thing that we did with the guard barracks. Yeah. And I'll start with the shop itself so we can kind of build around where that's gonna go. I think this would be the general trader, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any way we can make this floor plan more interesting. <laughs> Because the, the big block, I mean, it like scares me in terms of like, what are we going to do? How are we going to efficiently use all parts of it? Because like this, uh, oh, am I stuck? The like wall and roof is such a lovely texture. Yeah, actually, let's put that right there and just let it kind of overhang a bit. And then we'll do the flat wall here because I'm sure there will be a sign that we can put on it. Oh, we ran into this problem before, didn't we? We got to do the doorway after we put on the half wall, but then it'll snap back on. And we'll do 
this one on this side, that one there. I really think this piece, this piece, sorry, with the blue plywood is like notoriously terrible to snap to. This whole back section could be a half walls, but I don't think it needs to be. Hmm. Would we want like a um, back area or upper level for the shopkeep to live in? We can do the same thing with the inner wall to kind of hide it, but maybe the shopkeep, we can get rid of this one just for a second, um, lives up here. Just like a small. Hmm. Let's keep going. Let's like feel out how this would look. Because this could be like that. Planks aren't gonna line up. I didn't think, I didn't think through. That's okay. Is there any room? Not really for those to oversee. Maybe we switch the sides. And then we do the pop out walls on this side. And we'll do this so we can do a corner piece here. Again, sanctuary, I mean, we have a ton of like space here. We don't have a ton in the size limit, but we do have a lot of space. Okay, let me see how this looks. I feel like it's too much space. What if this became half walls? I didn't mean to scrap that, but let me, let me, let me show you what I mean. But just like, what if this whole half was also these little walls? Which still lets him lets him go upstairs to his private quarters. Yeah, I I just think it's more textured, visually interesting, less like, um, you know, when I first, when, when I first got Sims, I think when most people first get Sims and you just build like a big empty block, I made that mistake a lot. And then it, it just feels like huge and like, what are you going to do in there? Okay. That feels a lot nicer. Maybe this wall should be replaced by one that's like fully covered. Yeah, because we don't want it to be entirely open air, but then we have this and this, so it's still kind of like breezy. Okay, that's a good shape. Let's do roof. And the sun is out. I feel like we always end up building at night. I don't know why, but this feels like a nice change. And I'm shutting the sun out. But that's okay. Oh, that's going to be such a lovely general store. We'll close up this gap. And so I'm thinking this is the bedroom of the shop owner. So this would just be like a small... 
can I put a wall here? Or is the shack roof going to make that impossible? I'm worried now. Oh, no. We can do that. It's just we got to do the, um, the wall first. Fell right through. Maybe it makes sense to do this from down here anyway. Because then we can put the roof back in place. Yeah. That's weird. This being unsupported feels weird. Can I do um, the foundation fit? Oh, because that would be so cute. <gasps> it does. I didn't think that that would fit. With this, um, can this go under it? Because it's floating like just a little bit. Let me try. Hmm. Let me store that for just a second. Put this here. Put the wall back. Like I said, I think it's this blue plywood piece that's so difficult. No, maybe I messed that up. What if I do that? And then that. And then that. Okay, we're getting there. And then this. And we can pretend that that touches. It's at least closer than it was before. And then that. Yeah, because that feels really cool. Uh, and we can do what we did at Nordhagen and cover it up. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm loving the textures of this. And we'll do like that one. And that one, so from the back, ooh, we got this cool bush. We got a lot of neat texture going on here. And I love that. This space, um, maybe we just do some like patio furniture here. Because we can. We'll come back to that. Let's pop a door on. Green. Okay, so we got the general store part and then the house. Let's put a roof on because we need that sheltered bed. Our happiness is sticking at 80, which is which is good. Um, but 80 is what you get with, um, everybody has a sheltered bed and like enough food and water, uh, but nothing else. So it's kind of like the minimum of people being happy with nothing else going on. So they need like um, a bar at least, or a general trader, medic, you know, other stuff on top of just housing. It's like um, 80 is the highest you can get with the base tier of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and then you get stuck. Let's do some kind of storage for this guy. Yeah, because he's got a lot going on downstairs. Ooh, definitely a magazine rack downstairs. Let me plop that down here before I forget. But for personal space... Ooh, would a rug have been nice here? It actually really would. Yeah. Put a rug down. 
I hate that you can't do a rug after the fact. It really bugs me. But now we'll put the bed back. And we have room here uh, to give like a big bed, which is nice because I feel like so often we're limited on space and have to give them those itty, itty little bitty beds. <clears throat> Let's do candles on top of the filing cabinet, which I know seems like a fire hazard to put your files in something that has fire on top, but not a risk and fallout conveniently. Let's do some, a painting. I just, I love the painting so much. They immediately make everything like cozier. And I always like to think of the junk dealers as people who appreciate junk. Let's do a shelf. And then, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else we can really fit up here. So we just have his nice little personal setup. And then, oh, I love how we can do this wall inside and make that like a private entrance to the personal space of this building. That's really lovely. Okay, so now back to the actual general store itself. Let's do a little stool. There we go. And not a rug, but the rubber mat, I think would be nicer on the feet of whoever is working here. And I'm just gonna kind of layer them so it's like a nice shape. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the magazine rack here. And what other containers? Yeah, that's nice. This fits, I love this. There we go. Yeah, oh, can we do two side by side? Cause that would be so cool. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this one. Oop. I feel like I picked that up at a weird angle. If I can wedge this one like all the way in the back corner. These won't um, snap, will they? No, but we can get close. Just kind of wiggling. Yeah, that's not bad. I get it. That's all right. Okay, so we've got cabinet, magazine rack. I almost want like a table and chairs thing here. What's the highest table we can get? Because these are all so low. section and the clean stuff just feels wrong in here okay, but maybe like table and chairs just for people kind of coming in I almost feel like I don't know why my brain's telling me TV would be cool here as like an antique find that he has maybe doesn't expect to sell 
but he has it. Is there anything else like that that... Like, I don't know what this is, but in the context of a junk dealer has it, I think it's really lovely. And then same, I don't think the projector is gonna do anything for us, but maybe if we get like a table over here, that could be cool. Ooh, or a bobblehead stand. Not that I, I don't think I have any bobbleheads. I might have one in the workshop. What did I want? Uh, something to put the projector on. These feel too short. Oh, I really like this filing cabinet. Yeah, so maybe that. And now we can do the projector on top of it. Again, just as something like nobody really knows what to do with it, but the junk dealer has it. I don't love that that sinks into it, but that's okay. And let's do some chairs. I feel like the junk dealer would have like weird chairs. So let's do some mismatched like that. Okay, so we've got that, we've got the shelves. Let's do paintings back here. Cause I love, and I've, I've done this in some other settlements. So I know it'll look familiar, but I love the idea that the junk dealer like has paintings to sell. Like, cause where else would people get them from for their houses? If I can get it off my face, go on the wall. What is the problem? There. Yeah, just like a bunch of random junk for the junk dealer. And with chairs, like maybe there is like an antique or like weird chair. I guess these ottomans are kind of weird. Hmm. Nah, let's go back to the ottoman. That's actually like interesting at least. Let me put it down and then see how it feels. It's taking up more space than I thought it would. Oh no, that fits. Yeah, that fits lovely. Everything's for sale. I think this would be one of those things where like, it is a personal item, but if you name the right price, he'd let you have it. Everything has a price. And let's do a rug over here. And maybe another one over here. like a welcome map, but also just kind of, he's got a lot to sell. Okay, that's feeling good. We don't have any uh, lighting in here though, so let's put, oop, not power. Well, actually maybe power, would we want power in here? I don't think so. But maybe we do a uh, oil lamp in here instead of a candle so the wax doesn't get on the merchandise. Okay, that feels good. And then I know I picked up a bunch of junk, to, you know, with the intent of putting it in a, a general store, but I, <laughs> I think that earlier crafting might have taken some of it from me. So we'll see what I have left. Board radius could go, chessboard could go. Let's save the clothing stuff for a clothing store. Duct tape, good. Wonder glue. Let's put an extinguisher down. Why not? Paintbrush. And then I, I meant to have um, paint. 
but I, I think that got used up, so we might have to go back and grab some more. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. That is what I meant to do. That Braxo cleaner. We might have to position a lot of this by hand. But at least we can use workshop mode to set it upright and get it close to where we want it. Where's this gonna go? I kind of love it. Just there. That's cool. Wonder glue. Turpentine would go where the paint goes. Let's get out of workshop mode. Place chessboard there. Blast radius near it, because this would be like the game shelf. And then I don't think the globe is, uh, I think it's too wide to fit on an upper shelf. So we'll put it there. We'll put the duct tape and the wonder glue. Uh-oh. Oh, that fell into place. Didn't expect that to happen. That worked out really well. Um, and then I also feel like he might sell some snacks. So Dandy Boy Apples, Fancy Lad, Gumdrops, Instamash, that sort of thing. Just to, never mind, that'll go down there. That's fine. Why is that like crawling closer to my face? These, the Fancy Lad snack cakes, those are the snacks that synths really like. I, I said in a previous video, I know there's, uh, there's a specific snack that the Institute says synths love. Which I know the Institute also says that since can't gain weight. I don't buy that. I don't buy that because they're they're organic, you know, living beings. Of course, eating a bunch of snack cakes would make them gain weight. Let's do some of these. Oh, I do have a bobblehead. I hate that it stacked them all up just like that. I wish it kind of spread them out better. got one bobblehead. That's something. I guess let's just fill this up because I can always get different ones for other settlements later. Why not? Let's give it all the comic books I have. That looks really good. That looks really good. Oh my god, with all the awesome comics. That's really cute. Okay, general store is looking really good. Actually, one more thing that I just thought of that could be really nice. Even though we don't have power, the same way we like are selling a TV, even though we can't light up a TV, there might be like a ceiling light or like, um, like this. Just to kind of not light up, but be for sale. And then same. Has the disco ball too hidden? I would love the idea of like a disco ball exists for sale there, even if it doesn't light up. But there are some lighting fixtures for sale as well. That's really lovely. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, who can I put in the general store? Jen, you're unassigned. And I feel like maybe you don't need uh, to be assigned to anything. I didn't know there was a kickball here. Let's go ahead and throw that inside. That's not from me, I'll tell you that. Oh, the extinguisher already fell over. That's a bummer. Kickball, now for sale. This thing... 
that's not gonna work, is it? I'm grabbing it? No, I guess it's it's down for the count. All right. Say lovey. Let's see if there's um, signs that make sense here. Like I know there's a sale sign. Yeah. And then maybe a, a fire barrel or somewhere to help him see in the dark. Actually, a campfire would be lovely here because I feel like the general traders would be a popular place, uh, not only for residents of sanctuary, but also for uh, travelers, people travel and buy. So let's give them a patio chair or two out here. Ooh, you know what I want uh, instead of a fire barrel? Where am I going? The oil lamp thing, this one. That stands up. And then if the lawn flamingo's gonna go anywhere, I think we put a couple of them right here. For sale, of course. That's delightful. Let's do this more at a right angle. That is absolutely delightful as the general store. I love that a lot. Oh, we didn't give him a house number though. Okay, so this was, Mama Murphy was four. Uh, this was, the longs were three, so this would be five. And I don't think this needs a family name. Oh, five, but maybe there's like a loot, the loot house. Yeah. Do you want a job? No, I want you to live with your wife. She's, you know, having a hard time. Okay, so we put Mama Murphy in this house. We have the junk dealer in this house. So what goes in this house? Maybe this is a uh, hospital. Yeah, maybe this building is a clinic. I, I actually, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and do a 06 and then a Chems, the Chems house. And I know there's so many houses in Sanctuary left. This might be a two-parter. Sanctuary might be uh, two parts. We might have to, have to finish this next week because uh, this has already been a lot of building. Okay. So if this is a clinic, then maybe instead of a kitchen, this is like a chem station. So let's start clearing stuff out of it. And clearing you. And then we wouldn't need a like sitting area, but I would use all the stuff, so we'll just kind of store it. Oop, we got a milk bottle. Okay, so I'm trying to think through the layout. Broken toilet, broken sink, broken bathtub. But if this is going to be like our hospital house, then we can put all of that back. This desk, I mean, ooh, 
I won't be able to replace it there if I pick it up, will I? Yeah, because it doesn't quite fit. I'll just leave it there. Ooh, I don't want to scrap it. I'll hold on to that. Let's start with the chem station part. Let's do this. And this. Not resources, sorry. Um, crafting, and we'll do a chemistry station. Because I think it makes sense for a doctor to be able to create their own stim packs so we're not reliant on traders bringing those in. Rather, we can be a source of production on those, which is important. Ooh, we could do another one on this side. Just because otherwise, what goes on this side? Maybe um, a table or something. Will this fit? Yeah, actually. And then I think I have a cooking pot in my inventory. It'll fit, but will it? Yeah. A little shelf. This is what I was thinking of. Like for mixing ingredients and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, and then I think I also have Well, we can give them some mentats. I don't want these to stack, so I'm gonna do them one by one, which is kind of annoying. But we'll just sprinkle these. Sprinkle these around. I should have dropped like half of these before I started this. My bad. That's a good like chemistry setup. Yeah. Okay, so you come in and then I think the clinic would be like right, or the, like the actual store clinic part. Would be right here. Yeah. Let's do chair behind that for the doctor why is it on the roof don't know but I guess we just won't use that one yeah just something little We'll do like a little um, locker for them, for people who have to come in and then like get changed. Actually, does that make more sense over here? If this would be like the waiting area? Maybe it does. Maybe this is the waiting area on this side. So that's usually like a locker and a couch. And then just to make things like a little cozier for the patients, I like doing a painting and usually one of like the dog or cat paintings just because it feels like family friendly. Um, and we can also do, if I can remember where it is, a water fountain. I feel like would be really nice. Not a sink, a water fountain. Yeah, because then they can get some water. While they wait. Is that like abnormally high? No, because I could lean down and drink that. That's that's fine. 
And we'll do a plant. I love doing plants in the waiting areas of doctor's offices like this. Yeah, because that just feels like a nice little cozy. They're waiting to see the doctor. Um, and then on this side, let's do a cart. Yeah. And then maybe, honestly, maybe another locker on this side, but not for clothes, for like the doctor's scrubs. Yeah. And then something else back here I feel like would be appropriate, but I don't know what. Maybe another painting? Oh, <laughs> it just jumps right out in front of you. Why does it want to go like horizontal? Nothing's going to go there, is it? Oh, a poster would. Hmm. Do we have any any posters that are like, wash your hands? I know some of those exist in the vault tech set. Ooh, <gasps> Milton General Hospital, that's perfect. Oh, that's so perfect. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that so much for this space. That's an incredible find. Oh my gosh, I love that this clinic. Amazing. It's turning out amazing. Okay, so that's like the chem crafting, the waiting area, the actual clinic itself. And then we have a desk back here. So let's put a chair down. It does feel like a weird area for a desk because it's just like kind of in the middle of a hallway, which I don't love. that and then maybe a candle or a lantern oh that could work yeah okay and then did it was this where the bathroom was I feel like it was so we want bathroom stuff back in it because we would want of course a sink and we would want a toilet which can go like here and then let's put in these medical looking carts I know this says nightstand if I can get it close enough to work in here though And then could a dispenser go in here? Because this feels really, it does feel really medical. Like that. Okay, so in the bathroom. Yeah, actually, that feels pretty good. And I know there are no doors, which does suck uh, for these people, for sure. No privacy. Let's do an oil lamp. Mm. Trash can? Yeah, a little trash can next to the toilet. And maybe like a forgotten plant in here. Yeah, like nobody pays attention to it or waters it because it's in the bathroom of the hospital. It's not like we have uh, staff to maintain the space that isn't just the doctor. Okay, and back here we'll do the really clean bed, which will technically be the doctor's bed but in my head, it's also where like surgeries would happen if they needed one. Is that close to the back of the wall? Yeah, it is. I hate all these leaves. Like, <laughs> A, leaves would have decomposed. 
B, why are they still in the house? Hmm. We could do this dresser, but I think I like the longer one. And I honestly, I think I like the dirtier one better with the drawers sticking out just because it fits more. If we like, if we can't get rid of the leaves on the ground, then it doesn't make sense to have a clean dresser either, either, because that would just feel jarring. My favorite little candles. Radio, radio. Let's give the doctor classical radio. Two. I know. Again, I don't usually do that. I know I've done it twice in this build so far, but. The doctor has a stressful job. They're keeping the entire settlement alive. Okay. I want something. Do I want another plant or am I overusing plants? Both can be true, honestly. Like a little snake plant. I have a snake plant in my bedroom. A little snake plant and then something on the wall. Mounted creatures? Ooh, yeah, a blood bug. Maybe the doctor feels an affinity for blood bugs because of how sophisticated their proboscis is for drinking blood. Maybe that's an inspiration to somebody who works with needles. Okay, so we have the bathroom. We have the bedroom. We have this little desk area. And if I had like a clipboard or something, I would put it on the desk. So maybe I keep an eye out for a clipboard for sale from the junk vendor. And then we have the little waiting room, which I feel like a rug, like the round rug. I love this rug just to make things more welcoming. And we will ignore all the trash on the floor. And then we have like the chemistry station. That's cute. And then what about out here? I never realized there was a pillory in this game. This is, I mean, okay. Surgery chair. How do we feel about a surgery chair? Because it could, I mean, it could go here. Aesthetically, it's, actually, is there anywhere inside that it could go that would, like, make sense? Aesthetically, it makes sense. And so, okay, I was going to say, like, it doesn't make the settlement happy or anything, so we don't need it. But we also don't need to assign somebody to it. This could just be, like, aesthetically. Like, maybe for me, this is just where they sit to get, like, their, their, um, pulse and you know blood work done but it's not necessarily like we don't have to assign somebody to it that's how i'm going to justify that to myself anyway because it looks right in the clinic i kind of forgot that we had that i was honestly i was looking for um like the decontamination arch thing because i think that would make sense out here but maybe maybe we don't have that maybe this is just cabinets outdoor storage you know or maybe seat seating actually instead of cabinets hmm what do we got what do we got like yeah Honestly, like that, because this is also where the doctor lives. So maybe the doctor wants to grab a beer. Nope, grab a beer on her porch with someone. Which way does this bench face? I'm assuming it's whatever this is, is going to be the same for the bench. So let's push that as close as we can. Yeah. It still feels like gross out here. And, and I don't quite know why or what to do about that. Actually, I don't hate if we pretend this is for like jackets or something because there's no fish on it. So 
That'll be like a little bit of storage for us. Let's see if there's any signs. That would be wall decorations. We'll do a no smoking. Let's do a restricted sign on the chem room. Because I usually use the um, the drug sign to advertise like a pharmacy. Hmm. Yeah, that's not terrible. And then uh, we'll do another like oil lamp here. Yeah, that's lovely as a little clinic like hospital building on 06 Sanctuary Road. Does this road have a name? I don't know. Okay, we got the junk dealer. We got the clinic. This is coming along really nicely. All right, we got a new person assigned to food. We do need food. So here's what I'm thinking, because I know we're already a few hours into this build, and we're probably about halfway, because... Let's keep walking. Let's see what we've got. We've got... Is this our house? Yeah, this is like the house of tomorrow. This is the soul survivor's house. So this is, I mean, this is our house. Uh, so we could make this, oh, there's the crib. I don't really care about Sean. If I'm being like real honest, my biggest problem in this game when I play it the right way is that I don't think that I would play a character who canonically has a baby, so. <laughs> Sean is always like difficult for me, but regardless, off track there. So hey. this could just be, I, we're not talking right now, Sturgis, calm down. This could just be like more housing, maybe the general's housing officially. This, I hate that we can't move the workshop because this house can't really be a workshop on the inside, but maybe this is also housing. I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. Marcy, hole, thank you. I hope you like your house. I will take that as a compliment. Do we have any of these yet? No. Nope. Okay, so we could do like house, house. This is totally ruined. So maybe this gets scrapped and this becomes, because it's right next to where the workshop is, maybe this becomes like the warehouse for construction. Like maybe we put a craft, a bunch of crafting stuff in here. And then maybe this is more housing. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. Good for you, Sturgis. Yeah, we've got we've got a handful more houses to go. We could do a warehouse setup on one of them. We'll definitely do a bar setup on one of them. Um, clothing. We, we should do a clothing house. Let's check what other um, stores that we have that I'm not thinking of. Trader, armor, weapons, food and drink, clinic, clothing. Oh, I wasn't thinking of armor or weapons. Maybe some of these houses, we make like an armor house or a weapons house. Uh, like we put somebody in there, but we do like what, what we did with the clinic and have it be like this front part is the store. And then the back is that. I really like that, but I think we'll split that into part two. Let me scrap this. Can we assign Sturgis to anything? Just random power armor that exists. Um, and then we should, you know, yeah, think about a farm, like a proper farm. Sanctuary is so big, and, and I don't want to rush it or underdo it because it really is gorgeous. Hey, mama. And we have all these people who I can't, like, assign to things. Or I can, but 
like I don't want Sturges to be our medic because he's Sturges. And I don't want Mama Murphy to be a junk dealer because, you know, she deserves to just relax. She's an old lady recovering from years of drug addiction. Let me see if I can grab that new, um, whatever settler came in as the farmer. And we'll put him on something that'll bring up the happiness a little bit. Because we're not attracting people super fast. And then I think we'll pause there. And I also appreciate y'all being understanding that these videos take like a week. Uh, not to like edit because there's not a ton of editing I do. Uh, but to add captions and to fix the captions. That takes forever. Uh, but accurate captions are really important to me. So... Yeah, we're on kind of a weekly cadence for these, which is nice. Codsworth, I don't know what to do with you. I'm not finding that person. We saw somebody, didn't we? I'm not crazy. Maybe they're on the weird, like, mute fruit. Or they're probably asleep. They're probably asleep. They're not farming. Maybe they're on one of the weird sleeping bags. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Who's in here? Sturges. Mama Murphy. There's our settler. Let's grab the settler and put them in the clinic house. Because that way uh, we can get settle settlement happiness up above 80. If I assign them to this, I can't give them a lab coat. I have to do lab coat first. Okay, let's assign them to the bed first. That's like a fun bug that I've run into. If somebody's working at a clinic, it's harder to trade items with them. So we gotta dress her up first because I love playing dress up with my settlers. Nope, it wasn't this house. Where did I just put her? There we go. Hey, hey. Can we trade a few things? Of course. Tell me I have a lab coat. Yes, I do. Thank goodness. There we go. Now, I'm going to grab you and actually assign you to the clinic. And then I think we can grab somebody else. Like, maybe the longs can do farming. Because that's going to yep, plummet our food production. Because we were kind of depending on her for that. Or I guess not even totally. Who's doing five food? What? Marcy's on food, but should be able to produce six. So let me try and... That still capped us out at five. Are there only five trees here? One, two, three. No, she's just not self-assigning to this one for some reason. Oh, well. Last thing I'll do is grab her. No, you don't have to go farm now, babe. And I want to put her in her house. I gave junk. Yeah. So now we'll put Marcy in this bed. And then I see that food is low. So just for the sake of nobody getting mad at me, we're starving. Let's slap one more person on farming temporarily. I guess it'll be Jun. See, now I'm glad that I did these house names because I know that's Mama's house. I don't want to put him on farming. Look, again, I don't really want either of them to have to do anything. Okay, there we go. The 
farm's not much, but it's something. You're not a farmer. Let's sleep till morning. Oop, that's the bathroom. I mean, I think we kind of have to pause there and I'll, I'll be back next week with part two. All right. That's what we've got for Sanctuary Hills. We've still only got six people. I thought we would attract people a lot faster this time, but I guess not. Stay tuned for part two. I will have that up next week. I think we're doing like a Saturday cadence for these. So Saturday mornings is usually when I have one of these new builds up. Thank you so much for all the support and nice comments I've gotten on them so far. This has been just such a joy. I'm having such a blast doing all of these. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get farther today, but again, I want to do Sanctuary Hills right. So thank you so much for joining me, the General of the Minutemen, as we work to make the Commonwealth safer one settlement at a time. I have a playlist of all of these builds so far, so do be sure to check it out, and I will see you next week for part two of Sanctuary Hills. Thanks so much!